guys. So today we are going to talk about some of my most favorite spring nail polishes. My eyelash, when I look in the viewfinder, looks very odd. I don't know if it's just like the angle, but something looks weird in here. I swear everything's okay. Nothing's popping off. I don't know. Now these are polishes that I'm loving at the moment. It's not necessarily like my favorite spring nail polishes of life. It's just I had to grab 10 that I love. I had no trouble doing it. I've been kind of gravitating toward these same polishes over and over. So I'm going to get started. I have two from my girl, Julie. Julie G, if you guys don't know her, you are missing out. Her polishes are available at Rite Aid or online. I will link them down below. They are inexpensive and the formula is amazing. I do have a Julie G collection video coming. It's coming, I promise. So the two that I have, the first one is nine to five. Oh my gosh, this color just screams spring. It's so like vibrant, but I still feel like it's muted. And that's an odd combination, I know, but it is beautiful. The formula is not the best, a little bit difficult to work with, but in my opinion, oh my gosh, this color is so freaking worth it. I love it. I love it so much. And then the other one I have is Santorini. I've talked about this polish. This color, I just, I can't. I am a sucker, a sucker for this color. It's a beautiful cornflower blue. I pray to God that I'm in focus. I feel like I'm not. Anyway, it's a gorgeous cornflower blue. Formula is really nice on this one. Very easy to work with. And it just looks so good when you have it on. It's one of those colors that people will stop you and ask you what you have on because it's vibrant, but it's still soft. And oh God, mm, I love, I said it. I love it. I freaking love it. I have two from Bonita, Bonita. This is a new brand to me. They sent me a huge box of polishes to try out. And I tried a few of them so far and everything that I've tried has been really nice. Now they're not paying me, I, I'm under no obligation to talk about them or anything like that. They just sent them to me to kind of try out and see how I like them, so don't get excited. The first one is what I have on. This is Laser Pink. It's more of like a bright fluorescent peach and under my studio lights this looks really fluorescent. When I'm in different lighting it looks totally different. But the formula on this little polish is perfect. Absolutely perfect. The first coat was a little bit sheer and I was like, oh no, this is not good. But it built up so beautifully, very easy to work with. And I mean, look at this color. It's just like, this is more of a summer color, but I've said it before, I am dying for peach anything right now. The scent of peach, peach nail polish, peach clothing, I just love peach. And I, I love this. And somebody told me these are a dollar at Walgreens. The formula on this is not a dollar polish. I'm telling you this, I would pay like five, six dollars for this. Even though it's so tiny, the formula is really, really good. And then the other one from Bonita is Lilac Field. It's no surprise to anyone that I have a purple nail polish in the mix. This formula, again, just like Laser Pink, perfection smooth, very easy to work with. If you're a beginner, these are really good because they're so simple. You don't have to worry about putting it on perfectly like thin or a little bit thicker. Some polishes you really have to play around with how thick you apply them because the formula is difficult. These are just very easy. And it's lilac. Mm. Um, I love this. I really, really love this. Thank you so much to Bonita for sending me polishes. I am always open for new polishes to come into my life. Um, I have one from Nails Inc. This is Wellington Square. This looks kind of similar to what I have on, but this is definitely more pastel. And I'm pretty sure I talked about this polish in a video. I think, 
Did I? I don't know. This polish, the formula, is so opaque. And you almost can get away with one coat. You will need to do two unless you put it on really thick, which is never a good look. It's just, the, this color, I'm not repeating myself. I feel like I'm totally repeating myself. But I just adore the color. And I love when a polish has a kick-ass color with a bomb formula. That, I mean, it doesn't get any better. And this has everything. Absolutely everything. Nail sink polishes wear really well. They are a little pricey, like $12, $13 worth every penny in my book. The next one I have is from Orly, and Orly is not a brand that I talk about very often. I mean, they have very nice polishes. I just don't gravitate towards them. This is Frolic. This is an orchid color. Orchid is the color of the year, so that, I mean, that has nothing to do with why I like this, but I don't know. I feel kind of special when I have it on. I'm like, oh yeah, this is the color of the year. This nail polish I love. I've worn this four or five times this month. And with all the polishes that I have, that's something I try not to do. But I just love this color. It's so vibrant. And the formula is extremely smooth. It reminds me a lot of these two Bonita polishes. Very smooth. Very... It's not really opaque in the first coat, but it just, it just like glides on your nail. Are you seeing a trend here? I need a good formula. It's something that I need, like my body aches for a good formula. This has a good formula. I love the color. Thank you, Orly, for making Frolic because I'll love it. I have two from OPI, and they're both very light, like muted down colors. The first one is Don't Bossa Nova Me Around. <sighs> this is like my Hess lipstick from Napoleon Purtis. Favorite nude of all time. I know you guys are so freaking tired of hearing about that lipstick. This color with my skin tone, oh my god. It's such a beautiful combination. This makes my hands look so just like ballerina hands. Like so classy and just gorgeous. I love this nail polish so much, you guys. I seriously have to stop myself from putting it on like three times a week when I'm doing my nails. It's absolutely gorgeous, and the formula, it's perfect. It honestly is perfect. Most OPI polishes, the formula is perfect. I think OPI does one of the best, like, consistent, consistently good formulas in nail polish. If you do not have Don't Bossa Nova Me around, you need it. Go buy it. You, I'm, I'm, you need it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The next one is a Holy Grail nail polish of mine. This is OPI's My Boyfriend Scales Walls. I've talked about this nail polish many, many times. Not too much recently. I kind of, I ran out of it and I didn't repurchase. And then I found this at the Bonton and I got three bottles of it. This polish, you guys, if you're an avid like nail art, not even nail art, just nail polish in general, if you're a lover of nail polish, which obviously you are because you're watching this video, you need this color in your life. This is from the Spider-Man collection. It's white, but it's not a true, like, stark white. It's, and how many times have I said this? Some of you are going to be able to say this along with me. It's like a white bottle of nail polish with one drop of gray in it, and then they shook it up, and this is what happened. It's beautiful because it's white, but it's a little bit, it's like a pastel white, if that's even possible. Formulas, bomb, I, oh my god, I have been through probably like 15 to 20 bottles of this, no lie. I use this nail polish so, 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 so much. Oh my gosh. And it looks really good by itself. It looks very just clean and beautiful, and I, it's, I love it. Did you get that? I love it. Like, love it. You guys know I can't talk about nail polish without getting a little bit psycho. I have two... What happened? What What did your mouth just do? And I spit. Um, I have two from Illamasqua. Illamasqua is my favorite high-end nail polish brand. 
I just love the colors and the formula. They're consistently really, really good. So the first one is Jomina. This color reminds me a lot of my Station Nail Polish in Tarty Tart, which I know a lot of you are trying to find, obviously, or apparently, I know, big words, I just used them wrong. Hmm, it's a problem. Apparently, it's very hard for you guys to find. This is a really good, it's not a full-on dupe, but it's very similar in color. This this color on looks so fun and oh my gosh I love it so freaking much and the formula on this guy pretty much a one coat or you can get away with one coat so you pair this color with it being a one coater that equals me hurting people like people are hanging in my spare bedroom just hanging because that's what I do The next one that I have is Lament. Lament. This color is beyond beautiful. I want to wear this on my toes all summer. It's coral, but it has that peachy tone to it, so it's not like a reddish coral, which I don't know that I... I'm just tired of the reddish corals and nail polish. I feel like they've been so overdone by every brand. This is very similar to this color where it's kind of neon, but it's still like a pastel-y, very light color. And that obviously is something that I love. Formula, perfection. This one's not quite as opaque as Jomina, but it's so smooth and just, you'll kill people. You'll, you won't kill them, but you'll hurt them. And that's okay. I promote that. Injure away, my friends. I feel like this eyelash is still doing really weird things. What are you, what's happening to you, little eyelash? Why are you not cooperating? Okay, one more. I think I've been through all of them except one. This is from Pop Beauty, and this is Mint Magic. Yes, Mint Magic. This I got in New York when I was at IMATS. I got this at Dwayne Reed. I know a lot of you say that you're having trouble finding this. If you live near a Dwayne Reed, mm -hmm. check it out because that's where I found it. This formula and color makes me insane. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my kids outside. They're out there playing with banjo. It's so cute. I wish you guys could see them. He's chasing them around and it's just, it's like melting my cold little heart. This color is so vibrant, but it's still a pastel. How many times can I say that? This formula, as all the others are, is amazing and perfect and it's super opaque and gorgeous. This wears so well. I had someone tell me that Pop Beauty nail polishes don't wear well. Um, this one, this is the only one I have from Pop Beauty, but this thing wore for days and days and days. Like, I was amazed. It's, I love it. I love this color. It looks good with a tan. It looks good without a tan. This will work on absolutely anyone. Oh, you guys need this color. It's just freaking mint magical magical it's mint magical okay so guys that is it for my favorite spring nail polishes slash april nail polish favorites i told you guys i was going to do a nail polish favorites that's why i didn't have any nail polishes in my april beauty favorites so here you go these are the polishes that i have been wearing and loving and obsessing over yes I have been obsessing over them. I obsess over nail polish. Everybody doesn't, but this girl right here, she does. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I post pictures there of my nails before you get them here on YouTube. So yeah. I love you guys. Thank you for putting up with my weirdness and I will see you next time. Bye. drag queen high. We know I'm aspiring to be a drag queen. That almost didn't come out right. So, okay. So, I have your full eyelashes on, and these are my Speedos, by the way. <laughs> I feel very, like, heavy-eyed. I feel like my eyes are just like, hmm. And I just want to rip them off. I've heard people say, Speedos, you don't even know you're wearing them. Bitch, please. I know that I'm wearing them. I feel like I have 13 little ants just crawling around on my eyeballs, just, like, wanting to do bad things to me. This is weird. This is weird. I
And really, again, I'm sorry if this video was not in focus. Just squint your eyes and pretend. Because I'm not refilming, bitches. Oh, by the way, I got a new phone. I got the one that you have to do, like, the, the thumb thing where you have to hold your thumb on it. What's it called? The 5C. No. The 5S? Does anybody really care about my phone? But it's just exciting. But you know one thing that tickles my, tickles my turnips? You get this fancy phone, which mine's a little dirty. You get this phone, and you're like, oh, I want the gold. And then you have to put a case on it. It's so depressing. I'm not putting a case on my phone. <laughs> so tune in next week for part two, which is titled, How Nicole Busted Her Brand New iPhone. It wasn't popped before, but it's popped now. So you know what? Suck on those daisies. Huh. Yes, yes, yes. I've been waiting for this moment all day long. Now I need some mascara. I hope everyone's camel is doing well today. And until next time, keep your camel in your pants. Where else would it be? I mean, would you just, like, have it sitting on your shoulder? I have no idea. A camel sitting on your shoulder, though, that would be kind of cute. Carry it in a baby swing on, you know, your chest. Um, in a backpack or on a backpack so everybody can see it. Riding tandem on a bicycle with you. I picture somebody, like, tying their camel in a bow. It, these are the things that my, my brain does. Is that? These are the things that my brain does. Yeah. Yeah. It's proper English. English! Mm.